What's up, guys? I hope you're all feeling good today. I'm Feel Good Kenny, and I'm just going to address this immediately just for my own sake to get it out of the way so we can move on. Uh, there's this red spot on my nose because I was picking at it and I was like, oh no, I got to record videos and that's going to just stand out and somebody's going to notice it. So I'm going to say it first before you say it, okay, before anybody says anything. And and now that I now that I said that, I can go the rest of the video without thinking about it. Awesome. Okay, cool. So what am I going to talk about today? Well, you know, not totally sure what I want to say here. Um, but I got to come up with things to talk about every single day. Um, you know, part of the challenge for me to, you know, just upload a video every single day for 30 days. And I'm already doing that on my gaming channel, right? On my gaming channel, um, I'm, I'm playing Wordle. By the way, yesterday was an awesome day for me. Like, I'm so happy with something that happened on my gaming channel with Wordle is my Wordle video got like 2,500 views yesterday. <laughs> Because it was a hard word. It was it was epoxy. I don't I didn't even know what epoxy was. I just learned about it uh, from Wordle. And it's something to do with glue or some chemical thing, whatever. Uh, I've never had to use anything like that. So I uh, didn't know the word. But apparently a lot of other people didn't know it either. Because, uh, uh, yeah, they, they ended up... A lot of people watched that video. Um, and, you know, here's one thing I... I got to say this, okay, about the fact that I have two channels right now. I have this main channel, and then I have my gaming channel right now where I'm playing Wordle. I only have 200 and I think like 60 subscribers, 260. Uh, I'm trying to get to 1,000, by the way. If you want to help me out get to 1,000, please subscribe over there. It, it's absolutely something I need to have happen. Um, but I'm getting more views over there. And this is my main channel, right? I have over 13,000 here, you know, and, and yet that channel gets more views than this one. So it's almost like, well, which one I, at this point, that's my main channel, you know? Um, but I like it because there's a, a sense of like, everybody's on the same page. It's, it feels like a, a community. I understand why people watch those videos because they want to see my results and my thought process, how I solved the puzzle of the day, how I guessed the right word. And I get it. I understand. And I love the interaction with people over there. People like to share things about their results, how they did on the Wordle. So I'm still in the process of trying to come up with and figure out what this channel is, you know? I mean, I guess it's just about me, you know, sharing my thoughts on stuff. That's really all, all it is right now. So I guess the reason why people watch me is to hear what I have to say. Um, you know, and yesterday's video was kind of a good example of this because I decided to take a, uh, take a break from talking about serious subjects. Like I like to talk about depression and our feelings and, and how people, you know, hate themselves or, you know, I, I want to talk about like self-improvement stuff, but that is all sort of serious stuff. So yesterday I just asked the question, you know, uh, uh, have you ever bought a pizza just for yourself? You know, just because that's what I did a couple days ago. So that's why I brought it up. It's the only reason why I brought it up is because it's something I just recently did. And I thought, hey, maybe I can ask you guys, see if you guys have ever done this too. Uh, and and I, I, I appreciate you guys answering, you know, the question, you know, in the title. Uh, I appreciate you guys responding and interacting. That's what I'm going for, right? The whole purpose of yesterday's video is just, to ask a question that you that that made it easy for you guys to respond to, part of part of having a YouTube channel for me, I feel like is uh, I don't just want to sit here and talk. I want to ask questions and, and listen to you and hear how you are doing. You know, some of that might be serious stuff like how's life going? Are you happy? You know, are you enjoying something? Are you are you are you you know are you living a meaningful life? Do you feel like you have a purpose? You know. Uh, how are your relationships? You know, like I could ask a bunch of questions about you personally, but but sometimes it's okay to just like have small talk, and that's what yesterday's video was. And then I, I you know, I, and I was sitting there kind of wondering to myself, like, man, this is kind of a weird video, kind of a dumb video, small talk, kind of con like just random topics. And I was like, ah, I don't know if I want to upload this. But then I thought about it. I was like, well, the whole point of YouTube is you get to say whatever the heck you want to say. And if people don't want to watch it, they won't watch it. 
So I thought about that. I was like, yeah, if people don't want to watch that particular video, they don't have to. It's their choice. It is completely optional. And you don't have to answer my questions, right? You don't have to actually leave comments on videos. You know, it's completely optional. So that's what I kind of wanted to bring up. That's a starting point for, for me and what I wanted to talk about today, which is just participation. It's completely optional, not just online. You know, you can say, oh, I, I like watching this particular YouTuber. You know, I'll comment on their videos or whatever. Um, you know, you can belong to an online community. Uh, you know, by the way, I want to grow a community here. That's sort of one of the things I'm trying to figure out and I want to do is how can, like, what would this community look like if there was a community here? You know, I, I would assume, assume it would be people just searching for self-improvement or to feel better in life about themselves or just to have people that you can interact with and, and, and talk to. You know, there's places like, you know, forums like Reddit or there's places like discords where you can join and chat with people. And, and I've never done anything like that before. Um, you know, I, I, you know, I, I don't know what I would even do. I, I, I would almost feel uncomfortable doing it, but, but like, there's a lot of different communities online of people that are, uh, focusing on things. I mean, things that basically what people have common in interests in, right? Like the gaming community, people playing video games, streaming, uh, whatever. Um, like that's a huge thing, right? Uh, that's something that I'm very aware of is, you know, um, the fact that there's like a gaming community, whatever you want to call it. And then you have people that are actually in the development process of, of making games. And, and I know like some people like that's their job, right? But I, I, I always see people that are into like, whether it's programming, some sort of game development, whatever. It's like some of that stuff, people aren't getting paid to do it. Like it's just them putting their own time into it and energy because they want to. And I think that's really cool that like, something i mean i mean it's cool it's not cool that they're not getting paid for doing work but it's cool that people have passions for things that they're putting their time into that are voluntary so i have a question for you right now that i want to ask you and again it's your choice is completely optional your participation is optional to answer this question but can you think of other things in life whether it's online or not online where the progress of that particular group or community is based on the voluntary time and energy put in by people that aren't getting paid, right? Like somebody just choosing, it's like, I'm like, I think one thing that I think about is activism or like activists, like, uh, you know, we're fighting for human rights or we're fighting for some injustice in the world, like people that go and protest things or, you know, that organization of stuff. It's like the strength of like a, a group searching for in like social justice or something like that, you know, is completely dependent on the people that choose to engage and, and have those conversations or, 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 or bring attention to topics, you know? Um, and you know, you have other things like, I think about charities, uh, that that's one thing that I think about is, uh, like feeding homeless people or, um, you know, I know a lot of churches do, you know, a lot of stuff like that. And it's like, well, the strength of the local communities, charities, churches, things like that, it is dependent on people that just are, that really just care about that sort of thing or, or belong to that group or community. And, you know, it's completely just uh, people's participation in those types of things is up to them. So that's just kind of where my brain's at right now. I'm trying to, I, I know that I could probably, I don't really know where to go with this beyond this, but um, I guess, you know, I'm just thinking about, oh, I can think about myself and what is it that I want to put my time into? Like, what is it like that if I could do something and I get not get paid for it and just belong to a community, interact with people that have similar interests in me, what kind of community would it be? And, and, and that's something that I think, you know, maybe I'm going to throw that question to you, right? Uh, if you could do something, uh, if you, or maybe you are, how about this? Here's a better question. Are you currently in some sort of 
belong to a community? Do you currently talk to people with similar interests about something? Do you interact with them? What is that like? Because I don't do anything like that. So I'm just curious, like, what is that like? Uh, if not, what would you choose to join? What kind of community would you choose to join that you would participate in? Um, but but also just on a more broad, j just in general, like this sense of like everything that we choose to do in our lives, our time is limited. So we have to choose what we do, what we don't want to do, what we participate in, what we don't participate in, right? Like I don't have time to go to a random YouTube video and say, hey, this video sucks. Why did you upload this? Like I would never do that. I would just not take the time to say something like that. I would just click off the video. Like, why would you do that, right? Um, and, 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 it, and it, at some point, you know, you just have to ask yourself, what is it that you wanna do and what do you want to join? How do you want to help out? Do you want to, do you want to make the world a better place? Like, like I don't know. Like, I, I don't know. I'm, I'm just totally, I don't even know. I think, I think I'm kind of at the end of this video here. So, uh, I, I think I kind of, do you guys kind of understand where I'm going with this? I don't even know at this point. I'm just, I have to upload a video daily right now. And this is just kind of where my mind went. So, uh, thank you guys at least for uh, listening to me for this long. I appreciate you guys, your guys' support. I hope I can, um, I hope this this uh, this channel keeps on going and that we can have conversations about things and that you guys can be engaged and I can uh, grow this community. Uh, at some point, I, I would like to start up a Discord and whatnot. Um, I have a I have an idea for something I want to do with that, and I'll I'll announce that. Um, in the future, as I once I start uploading more videos and get more consistent, um, I'll announce a Discord and I'll I'll um, do something with that. But yeah, so I appreciate you guys. Um, thank you guys for watching. Um, this is today's video. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Enjoy the rest of your day.